channel. Today we're going to be making homemade paint and we're going to be doing hand painting with them. So I just wanted to tell you that these paints are edible. So for example, I have a little sister here. Even while she's painting, if she eats it, she won't get sick or nothing will happen to her. So let's get started on making the paint. So for this paint we'll need Food colouring, of course. Well, actually, we can't make white paint. I'll be blank without food colouring. A spoon to mix, a bowl for the batter, some water, some salt, and some flour. And it's one cup of each. So, let's make it. to mix it until there are no chunks in them, not even one. So also, these are more suitable of hand and finger painting than using the brush because it's salty. So there's no chunks in there now, so we'll put the spoon aside and split it off. So let's take all of these. And Separated them in four balls and now I'm going to put the colours and mix them with these four spoons. So first we'll need a blue here. One or two drops, I'll do one. Or two. One. Two. So I did two drops in that. Mix all the colours together and I'm just so excited to do this painting because I love painting, especially hand painting. So I'm going to do a cute little goldfish. So let's get started. So I'm going to paint my hand with this brush all orange. That's it. Okay, now let's start painting. I'm so excited. Now we'll stretch out wide. Put on squeeze. I'm gonna just let it stay there for 10 seconds. 
Let's count down together. Okay, actually, I'm going to take it. So, grab my fish. I'm going to go and wash my hands now. Wait, you wait there. I know it doesn't look like a fish yet, but I'm going to fill the gaps. This one, this one, and these others. And make it a proper fish shape. So, let's do that. And remember I told you these are more suitable with fingers than the paintbrush. So, we'll do it with our fingers. So, I'll fill the gap. So I'll do the small one here, okay. and then I'm going to fill this big one in the middle. You see my hand is a bit in the middle more than the others, see? Yeah, so that's why it happened for that part. I'm going to use my right hand. going to do the other touches so I'll do the bubble remember they're going up up like that but not in front so I'm going to do that For fish painting, I'm gonna let it dry and I'm going to show you another very fun type of painting. It's very different. So let's go. Up, like lay that there. For my next painting, we'll need a rope and of course a paper and some paint. So first, we will fold the paper in half. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not, but that's in bed. And then we'll pick a colour for the rope to go in. I want to pick this beautiful blue. Oh, look! I just used a word like they both start in B. Beautiful and blue. Do you see that? That was awesome. Now we take it out and then we'll put it in a shape, whatever we want. So now I fold, put it in this shape. Now I'm going to fold this paper and then we'll drag this rope out. So we'll press it down and now drag it. Thing. There we go, now we'll see what the result came like. Mm. 
Wow, it came like this, you see? That's very beautiful, doesn't it? This time, I'm going to be using two colours at once. Ooh. And I'm going to use the beautiful blue again. So, I made more colours here. And now I'm going to show you how to do the cactus and the grape. So, first we'll do the cactus here. So, we need a green. Butterflies, well one. This is all of my fingerprinting and I'll show you them after it dries up. So, now this painting has dried up on the other, so this is how the fish looks like. Now I'm going to do the fish for the fish. So I'm just going to do a smiley bird. There's a sweet smiling fish. Hmm. Now I'm going to some more paintings before so this is my flamingo one I wrote this for flamingo and the second one is this flower pot one so this is I use my hand and fingers and then my last one is a tree one needed given this to the sun and I also did some more rope painting like these ones and I did this one today so this one this is how it looks like and my second one is this one and then my last one is this 
one. So, this is the end of this video. Well, I hope you explore more about this painting, hand painting, and finger painting, and get your life more colourful. Bye bye.